Times Square was once green. Now you want to bring nature back again. Time there's been a garden here in 300 years. We want to celebrate nature, sort of go back to the original New York. One of the greatest things about Proposing the impossible is that everybody goes in with this incredible spirit that we can imagine things and we can build them and we can dream them and we can make it happen. We, we definitely need more of this around here. I thought it was interesting how everybody's so drawn to it. I like the use of the old stockings. I thought it was very interesting that you can use an old stocking to make uh, greenery. When you touch the ball, the data that it, it's receiving changes, it's different. The microcontroller sends back data saying light up the LEDs and produce sound. So each ball makes a sound and the more people touch the more balls, together it makes a different, more intricate sound. All of us were thinking about how to bring nature back to Times Square. Because as you can see here, it's very overwhelming, there are many lights, many buildings, and how can we bring back nature and bring back the green? And we want people to touch nature and to be close. This is why like, only when you're really, really close, you hear the sounds. We want to get our students out of the library, out of just thinking and theory and philosophy, and instead also do things. Translate text and thinking into action. That's exactly what's happening here. What you see here is architecture, landscape, uh, urban planning, environmental history and thinking all blend together in one wonderful mix. 